Life wasn't hard enough for you, so you bought a PS4 controller for your PC. The DualShock 4, or DS4 as I will refer to it throughout the video, is a very solid gamepad. It's a massive improvement over the DS3 and gives the Xbox One controller a run for its money. In December of last year, Sony has released a full support for the controller with Steam, which means you could use it with Steam Pick Picture Mode. Let's begin with connection. You have the option of either a wired or wireless connection. A wired connection is very simple. The standard micro USB cable that is used in almost all of today's phones is compatible with a DS4. All you have to do is plug it in and it will be connected. Alternatively, if you have a Bluetooth device on your computer, you can connect the controller wirelessly by pairing the controller with the Bluetooth device. To do that, hold the share button and the PlayStation button for 3 seconds. Once the light bar begins to flash, head over to your Bluetooth and search for a device and select pair once you find the controller. If it asks for a code, simply use 000 and now your controller is connected via Bluetooth. If you're like me and using an external Bluetooth dongle, you might want to skip installing drivers from the CD that comes with the dongle. Instead, just plug it in and Windows will automatically recognize it and get the best drivers for it to work properly. The simplest way to use the DS4 controller without third-party software is using it with the aforementioned Steam Big Picture. All you need to do is connect your controller and start Big Picture. Once it loads up, you can navigate with your controller. Steam Big Picture provides you with a little icon next to each game to show you if it's optimized to use with the controller or not. If however you're not using Steam, you're going to need X input software, which is a type of software that tricks Windows into recognizing your gamepad as an Xbox controller so it works properly. Some of these go the extra mile and allows you to gain full control over the DS4 controller, like playing with a light bar and dragging charge among other things. My software of choice is DS4 Windows. You have the option of using anything similar like X input mapper and whatnot. Link for downloading the DS4 Windows will be in the description. Once you start up your software, it won't detect the controller. Go to the settings tab and select controller driver setup. From there, click on the button at the top and wait while it installs. If you have Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, then you're all set. If however you have Windows 7 or below, you're going to have to click the second button which installs the Xbox 360 controller driver. If it doesn't work, I'll provide a link for downloading it in the description. After installing the 360 driver, you should be all set. Now that everything is in place, you can mess around with DS4 Windows. Click on profile and double click on default. You can change the light bar color, make it glow red uh, when it's low on charge, and maybe configure the rumble and many other things. And now you can head to any gamepad supported game and play it with no problems. Some games won't work because they themselves do not support a controller on PC. There are workarounds for this, but I'll leave that to you. One thing that people seem to forget is that if your controller disconnects, maybe if you turned off your computer or whatever, to connect it back in using Bluetooth, you just have to press the PlayStation button and it will connect automatically. You don't have to go through the procedure of pairing every single time. One final note is that you're going to have to leave DS4 windows open whenever you plan to using your controller if you're not using Steam. Closing it will stop the controller, so leave it minimized. This was Abed from Of Tech and Man, and I'll see you in the next video.